I have some mukbangs. I have some vlogs. I have some cooking and some talks. I need you to like. I need you to share. I need you to describe, please. Hey guys, remember like, subscribe, share this video with everyone you know. Let them know what Queen of Trees and the MKW crew is doing over here. Till the next time. What's going on, my people? Lee Mims here, Lee Mims Productions on Queen of Trades channel. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, top of the day to you, whether it be morning, evening, or night when you watch this. Um, I usually let the videos go a little earlier. As you can see today, a little bit slow. Past 5 o'clock shadow and shade. It's tired today. Sometimes we all get tired, we all get weary. And uh, on this channel, we keep it a thousand. Not 100, a thousand. So, um... I thought it was more important to make sure uh, I share my positivity and my inspiration over rushing to go shave. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying my last few minutes, so to speak, of my day off. Punch the clock bright and early tomorrow. All right, so today what we want to talk about is your success is not everyone's. Your success is not everyone's success. Um, actually, what I have to say is already there. Um, but let's just remember that, one, do not let people spoil your success, your achievements. Um, meaning, if you don't think they're going to be positive about what you have accomplished, don't share it. Good word talks about casting pearls before swine. The same thing I mentioned about dreams. You know, um, it talks about how uh, the swine would trample on those pearls. And uh, to me, the pearls are analogous to anything of greatness. We all know pearls are great. They're rare. So are your ideas, your dreams, your successes. Um, everyone's not going to be excited about your success. So be careful who you share it with. Uh, it's much like dreams I've stated before. Be careful who you share your success with. I am very careful of who I share my success with because my success is just that, my success. Now, you will have people in your life where the success is ours. They are happy. They are there with you through your failures. They are there through your your positivity. They're there with your negativity. They're there for childbirths that you've had. They're there for deaths that you've had. They're there, you name it, they're there. They're there even when you don't need them to be there. Those are the people that you share your successes with. Make sure you keep the mindset of that, too. Um, it's, it's not enough just to do a thing and follow through it because you know it's the right thing. You need to believe that this thing that I'm sharing with you is reality because it is. You ever go tell somebody something and you're like, hey, I just, uh, I don't know. We're just going to talk about coffee pots since I like coffee. I don't want to pick any real situations. Hey, I just got this brand new coffee pot. I'm so glad because I use coffee and the caffeine helps keep me going and I love the smell of it and it goes well with breakfast blah 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 and you tell your so called confidant that and it's like yeah okay glad you got it that will bring you down I'm excited about this coffee maker this coffee pot I'm hoping that you know I share with you you share something with me your positivity bounces off of me and then Bounces off you back and forth, and now we all happy about this cup coffee pot. Something very small in, uh, in your life. Sometimes sharing it with somebody. I always tell my my wife, strike that. My wife has always said she likes to share. She feels like sharing her food, it makes the experience better. She feels like food is meant to be shared. Well, I feel that way about goodness and success and things of that nature. 
but some people just aren't. Some people are haters. And no, I'm not talking about haters as we see it. Oh, they hating on me. I'm, I'm this and they, they, they. No, some people are just that. They hate everything. Not hate on you. Haters. They hate everything. The original word, one who hates. Take it back to grammar school with the E-R meaning one who. And then you have the original word, hate. There are some people that you could just be like, good morning, top of the day to you. What's good about it? Like, what? I don't know. You're breathing. You have full use of your limbs or you, you can think. You, you can see how you saw last night. I wear glasses, but I'd rather go ahead and wear glasses and be dead and don't need them at all. I, I got things I want to see with these glasses. These old bad eyes. Could be worse, but they're not. Um. You have people that, you know, they just hate everything. It doesn't matter. Brand new stories around them. Bring too much business. We don't need all these folks around here. Don't have a business. Why I ain't got no business around here? I got to travel to the next town to get it. And one people, one one person. I, I love my local uh, fire department. They right here. The next one, the taxes is too high. Why we got these brand new fire departments? Oh my goodness, please stop hating. Not hating on somebody, stop hating. Let's learn to find the things that we like. That brings success. When you're appreciative of the small things that you have. Again, the good word talks about that. You know, if you are content and you are good over the few things, I will make you ruler over many. It's common sense. Then again, my wife and I have this grave debate infinite about common sense how it doesn't really exist i believe it exists i believe people just want to get rid of it so they can do what they want to do what does the red light mean stop that's common sense just about everywhere you go red means stop the brake lights are red the stop signs are red um anything with caution is usually red so it's common sense for red Common sense is societal norms as we know it. Be thankful when you have something. It's common sense. You be thankful, you will get more. That is common sense. That is life experience. Maybe you haven't lived long enough. Well, I want to just go ahead and tell everybody, be thankful for the success that you haven't achieved yet. <laughs> We're going to be thankful even to those things that are coming. We want to be thankful for the things that we've had. We want to thank for, be thankful for the things that we do have. Remember, your success is just that yours. Don't expect people to be just as excited as you are. But you can also be excited for them. You don't have to do what they do to you. Remember the good word. Do unto others as you have others do unto you. How you get a thing back may not be the same way you put it out, but you definitely get it back. You put out negativity, you'll get it. It might not be from that person you hated on or spoke evil of, but it's coming back. You do love, you're going to get mad love back. Trust me. Yeah, trust me. That's another video. I ain't even going to talk about that. Hey, y'all enjoy y'all day. We'll catch up on these playoffs. My Eagles is playing the Bears right now. So, uh, I'm going to be thankful for the win that we didn't get yet. That success. <laughs> hey, peace, man. Love y'all. Support this channel. Go support somebody today. You want to be successful, help somebody else be successful. Peace. I had some mukbangs I have some vlogs I have some cooking and some talks I need you to like I need you to share I need you to subscribe please